Bueno, Leo, quedaste un poco, un poco caliente por el final. ¿Qué mirá, Bobo? ¿Qué mirá, Bobo? Anda, anda para allá, Bobo. Anda para allá. Tranquilo, tran tranquilo, Leo. Hola, hola. Mr. Briggs here from Learn Spanish World bringing you today's video entitled How to say in Spanish, What are you looking at? Punk? Oh, what are you looking at? Silly? ¿Qué tal, my dear amigos? Welcome back to Learn Spanish World with Mr. Briggs. Today, I got you a new phrase, a really interesting phrase. I don't know if you watched the World Cup. Uh, it was really intense. It was fun. And I remember watching at the end of the World Cup um, one of uh, these famous soccer players and he got a little bit upset. I'm talking about Lionel Messi. I think um, a reporter asked him a tactless question and he pretty much said in Spanish, what are you looking at, punk? <laughs> or what are you looking at, silly? So we're going to learn how to say in Spanish, what are you looking at, silly? So that you know if somebody ever tells you or asks you that. It's a bit funny, I, I, this sentence makes me laugh because when I arrived in Australia many years ago, well, it was one of the first sentences that my friends taught me to say. They tricked me. They asked me to tell some of their friends, what are you looking at, punk? I, no wonder they were giving me these funny looks. I had no idea what I was saying, but my new friends here in Australia thought that was funny. It was a, They said to me, it's a really nice way of saying, hey, how do you do? How are you? Anyway, I don't want that to happen to you, so I'm going to teach you how to say, what are you looking at? Silly. <laughs> Now, something that we need to keep in mind with the Spanish is that Spanish is a very international language spoken in many countries around the world and it's official in 21 lands. So the regional intonations vary. It's the same language. I mean, you can perfectly understand a, a Mexican can understand a Chilean, a Chilean, a Uruguayan, and so on. It's the same language. It's like I've said it so many times, like British English, Canadian English, or Australian English but there are differences in intonation. So if somebody was to say, what are you looking at, silly? For example, in Mexico, and someone else in Argentina, the same sentence would sound slightly different. Now, I need you to adjust your listening skills and I need you to pay attention and listen intently to what I'm going to say. Que miras, Bobo? What are you looking at, silly? Que miras bobo that intonation is pretty much very popular and common throughout latin america however in argentina the country where lionel messi is from even though it's the same sentence the intonation varies so instead of saying que miras bobo in argentina they say que miras bobo so the second syllable of miras is emphasized but the way they say miras in Argentina is slightly different. The intonation varies. So instead of saying que miras bobo, they say que miras bobo. The emphasis goes in the second syllable of miras. And this is the way Lionel Messi speaks. He's from Argentina. Que miras, Bobo. Now, the reason for this difference uh, is many explanations, but one of them is the fact that Argentina received a lot of immigrants from Italy in the 20th century. And there was millions. I believe that one of the first um, countries in the Americas to receive a lot of immigrants along with the United States and Canada was Argentina. There was more than six million Italians arriving in Argentina. And that mixing of languages and, and taking into account that Italian is also very similar to Spanish. It made it very easy for that intonation, that rich, beautiful, passionate Italian intonation to pretty much mix with Argentinian and Spanish. And that has actually given birth to a beautiful regional Spanish, which is the Argentinian Spanish. Very beautiful, very musical. And Lionel Messi is a clear example of it. Something else that is interesting to note is the fact that the way they pronounce the double L changes. For example, if you wanted to say the word horse in Spanish, which is caballo, in some Spanish countries, they will pronounce it as caballo. It's got a yo sound. 
In other countries, they'll say caballo, caballo. But in Argentina and Uruguay, this is pronounced almost like a SH, caballo, caballo. So when Lionel Messi tells this reporter, this tactless reporter, what are you looking at? Punk? Silly? Go, get out of here, go over there. He says, anda pasha. Anda pasha, meaning go over there, get lost, get away from here. Anda pasha, instead of saying anda para allá. So there's some little differences here and there. I thought you would find that interesting. Bueno, Leo, quedaste un poco, un poco caliente por el final. Mira, bobo, que mira, bobo. Anda, anda para allá, bobo. Anda para allá. Tranquilo, tranquilo, Leo. If you want to ask someone, what are you looking at? In Spanish, he would say, ¿Qué miras? What are you looking at? ¿Qué miras? Now, as you may be aware, Spanish is spoken in many countries around the world and it's official in 21st countries. So there's a wide range of regional accents and intonations. In places such as Mexico, you would ask, ¿Qué miras? Argentinian Spanish, on the other hand, they emphasize the second syllable of miras. ¿Qué miras? ¿Qué miras, Bobo? Now listen, I'll speak as a Mexican. ¿Qué miras? Argentinian. ¿Qué miras? Can you distinguish the difference? Mexican, Spanish. ¿Qué miras? Argentinian. ¿Qué miras? Bueno, Leo, quedaste un poco... Un poco caliente por el final. As you can hear, the interviewer asked Lionel Messi if he's feeling caliente, a bit upset by the end of the match. In this case, the word caliente does not mean hot, but it conveys the idea of feeling extremely upset, perhaps even angry, as um, Lionel Messi's face may reveal. He's not feeling very happy. So sometimes, in certain circumstances, you can use the word caliente to express disgust or anger. By now, we already know what que miras bobo means. However, there's another expression here. Anda, anda pa allá bobo. Anda means go or run along. So in this case, he's telling this person to go away. And Mexican and Spanish would pronounce this as anda, whereas Argentinians would emphasize it in the second syllable once again. Anda, anda. Anyway, my dear amigos, thank you so much for watching this video. Please click that button, subscribe. And guys, we are already on our way to hitting 100,000 subscribers. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Share my channel with other people. Please watch my videos and help me reach this huge milestone. I'm so happy and I thank you very much for the unconditional support you've given me throughout all these years. I love you, my dear amigos. Los quiero a todos. Cuídense. Nos vemos. Chao, chao.